Now I will show you how to renumber a column of a primary key and a foreign key. So now you can see SQL Enterprise Manager, a database called AAA. Under it, tables, you can see there are two tables, table 1 and table 2. For using primary key and foreign key, you need minimum two tables. One table for primary key column and table 2 for foreign key column. Now let's check out its structure and its data. Go to table 1, open table, return all rows. So now you can see ID is the primary key column. In primary key column, all the data are unique. There is no chances that data can be duplicate. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, all are unique records. And in foreign key column in second table, in ID column you can see they should be the same ID column and here you can put any data but data but that data has to be of primary key like in primary key we ha we had the value 1 2 3 4 so you can use only those value like suppose 1 you can repeat duplicate is allowed 2 2 3 4 but if you use any other value beside 1 2 3 4 because it was in primary key it will show you an error go to 5 type 5 and try to save it by moving to down you can see it is saying the conflict occurred in database this table triple a database table 1 column id insert statement conflict with column foreign key constraint so you cannot enter so you can press skip so this way data entry has been done now suppose you want to renumber how to do it and it is also better that you give some values here also otherwise it will not be able to update because they are totally new or they may be updated but these three will be updated at once but that also is not a problem because when we want to renumber we don't consider any other column than foreign key column and primary key column so now let's stop it and let's open to both table in one screen only make it restore now open second table also and restore it so that you can see both the table in one screen so you can see this is table 1 here it is written table 1 here it is written table 2 if you click and press this exclamation it will refresh click here refresh so once again let me clear it this first table have the column for primary key the second table have the column for foreign key primary key is always unique one two three four you can see duplicate is not at not at all allowed and in foreign key duplicate is allowed but the value should be among these values only like one two three four if you give here five and give anything like here so now fifth is allowed here also you can type five also you can type as many time you want but you cannot use anything beside this range that is one two three four five beside these five values you cannot use any other values in this column of a foreign key this is the concept of primary key and foreign key now when I change these numbers automatically the related number of this should also get updated for that you have to remove primary key and foreign key so for that come to the interface right click and go to design table of the second one right click in the ID and go to relationship and now you can see primary key table foreign key table table 1 table 2 ID column press delete and yes so you can see foreign key is deleted from the second table click on close and click on save click on yes so it is updated now go to primary column table in design you can see the key for icon is there right click and remove this set primary key the key will get removed close it save it so primary key and foreign key is removed you can minimize this to see both the tables 
now you can see if you type here 6 it will allow because now it have no connection with this but you should not type otherwise the relationship will get bricked so in future actually the relationship is already bricked but you cannot you will not be able to re-establish the relation because validation has to be proper delete now come to visual basic and come to interface and then go to codes now as we have used the same codes in our previous movie here what you have to do like you can see this line updates the first table so what you can do when it updates the first table it should also update the second table so copy the codes for command as you get because you have to use only update and now paste the code at, the, at here for once so this two line is declaration you can cut it and move at the top like around here and this is the code required to educate the SQL statement so you can cut and bring it inside the loop and move next should be at the bottom because first it will update then this command educate will update in the second table and then it will move to the second record so what could what query you have to write here you have to write update table 2 set set name of the column name is equal to suppose for the time being write value 2 where name is equal to value 1 so this statement is ok but this value 2 and value 1 I will explain you how so when this record sets brings the record it brings the first record and the first record can be get captured by this code rstm exclamation name so you can declare a variable at the top dim value 1 as string and you can store the output here remove this print you can write value 1 is equal to instead of name give id or instead of string it is better to give long which is a numeric data type so what this code will do this statement will bring all the records this will display the first record and before update before updating the first value will be get stored in value 1 then it will be updated and after updated again you can copy this code and paste it and after update get the value here so first value 1 will be copied in value 1 then it will be updated after updated again the new value will get copied in value 2 variable so you have to give one more variable here copy it paste it and here give different name value 2 so till you don't use move next record sets keeps sitting in the current record only so now come to this statement now value 2 you cannot write directly here as it is a variable so make it double quote close m percent then variable after variable m percent then double quote for value 1 also you have to do the same thing value 1 double quote m percent and you don't need this closing so what this statement will do update table 2 set name is equal to value 2 where name is equal to value 1 so now this code is perfect 
now let's run and see or you can do one thing you can block here and let's give a new value instead of this value let's give 1000 plus i once again you can come to sql and check out the first table have 1 to 5 the second is a copy of 1 to 5 but a repetition is allowed in foreign key now run the code click on the button as you can see it have come to the loop so when you press next by pressing f8 let's see the value of value 1 1 is get stored now it will update now you can see 1 has been replaced to 1000 now update is required in the second table so press f8 and now see what SQL has got ready update table 2 set name is equal to 1000 where name is equal to 1 so press f8 so it got executed so what it says invalid column name name go to debug okay sorry this name has to be id actually id and id id is the name of the column now again bring it top press f8 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 you can see it have educated now let's go to sql refresh and see this one has to be 1000 and there are three ones this also has to be 1000 click here refresh it is okay for the second table refresh you can see three 1000 has been done so you can see primary key and foreign key both tables are getting updated now let's come to the code remove this block and press play button so all has been executed at once now go to SQL refresh the first table you can see 1000 1001 1, 2 3 4 now here you can see it is also updated so both has been updated after the process is completed you can reconnect them to as primary key and foreign key so right click in table 1 design the first column right click and set primary the key icon have come press save and close the first work is done now set foreign key go to design table right click in the id go to relationship click on new S primary key table table 1 foreign key table 2 then id column there also id column click on close close and press save so it asks for update click on yes so you can see it is updated so the connection has been the relationship has been established and renumbering of both the table of primary and foreign key is done so this comes to the end of our tutorial of renumbering primary key column and foreign key column for that we have to remove primary key and foreign key and after update re-establishing the relationship thank you